nationwide search, hundreds of entries, and it all comes down to this. We're here at Millbrook Proving Ground, where over the next two days, these 18 truck drivers will see their knowledge and skill put to the test. This is the DAF Transport Efficiency Driver Challenge. So how does the DAF Transport Efficiency Driver Challenge work? Over the next two days, our 18 finalists will take on eight challenges. Each challenge will be scored in a way suitable to that individual task, with a top five from each challenge scoring points. It's five points for first place, four points for second place, three points for third place, two points for fourth place, and one point for fifth place. Those points will then go directly into the overall league table, with the driver on top at the end of all eight challenges declared the winner. So let's get straight into challenge one and two. Both these challenges will see drivers get behind the wheel of the DAF XF. There'll be two types of XF. There'll be one with an automatic gearbox. And on this challenge, drivers will be assessed purely on the telematics output of that vehicle. The second vehicle has a manual gearbox. And during this challenge, they'll be accompanied by one of our expert judges who will assess them on a number of set criteria. So without further ado, let's see how they get on. Jake from DAF Telematics gets things started with a briefing. In this challenge, the drivers need to consider their overall driving performance and will be scored on criteria including anticipation, avoiding harsh braking and cornering, and overall fuel economy. Graham Hurst is the first driver to get us started behind the wheel of this stunning DAF XF. This challenge is based purely on the telematics output of how the driver makes the vehicle perform. There's no room for opinions or excuses here. It is a true test of man versus machine. Here's Kevin Nichols, clearly enjoying the Millbrook course. Telematics is now widely used throughout the transport industry as a measure of driver performance and is the perfect tool to work with drivers to better understand how their driving behavior can impact on the overall performance of the vehicle. Chris Gadman is the next man up to take on this route of Millbrook which lasts around 20 minutes in total, taking in both the high-speed bowl and alpine course, simulating both motorway and more demanding country road and hill climb conditions. With features including predictive cruise control and eco mode, the XF is built to deliver outstanding efficiency and performance across all road conditions. But time will tell if our drivers can get the most from these vehicles. Richard Henry, shades on, looking like he means business, as he twists and turns around the bends of the Alpine route before dropping back down onto the high-speed bowl, making it look easy. Handbrake on, it's Phil Cumberland who brings the challenge to a close. So with the first challenge complete, it's results time. Okay, so the guys have all completed their drive now on the DAF XF and Jake from DAF Telematics is actually inside this office crunching the numbers from the telematic system to see who will be the winner of this challenge. And it's an early statement of intent from Gary Ferber with a staggering 100% securing him a maximum 5 points and the early lead. Just 1% behind is Richard Baker picking up 4 points with Simon May, Peter Edwards and Mark Stewart also in the points. With one challenge complete, the gauntlet has been firmly laid down by our early leaders, so let's get straight into challenge two, where the XF driving continues, but this time in a vehicle with a manual gearbox. With automated gearboxes commonplace throughout the road transport industry, how are our drivers feeling about the prospect of going back to manual? Using a manual gear stick might be a change for, uh, for a while, we haven't had manuals for a long time, so organ automatic now and that seems to be the industry sort of benchmark so using a manual will be, be nice and different. I've not driven a, a manual in a long time so so yeah looking forward to that. A bit nervous with the manual one because like I say it's been about two or three years since we've driven a manual so yeah. that'll be challenging. The XF manual will see drivers take on a 10 minute course of Millbrook including a reversing manoeuvre but telematics isn't the judge of this one however 
and drivers will be under the watchful eye of our Judge Kenny. Challenge two out of seven. And we're off. Paul Barlow looking comfortable and assured as he gets off to a steady start there. Qualified driver trainer and assessor Kenny will be using an industry standard driving assessment to give the finalist a score out of 60, based on judging criteria amongst others, including control, positioning and judgment. Our drivers are behind the wheel, up and down the country and all over Europe, day in, day out. But will the pressure of the competition take its toll? Two challenges in, I caught up with the guys to find out how they're finding the competition so far. Okay, so I've got uh, Richard here with me. Richard, you've just completed the XF manual challenge. Uh, how was it for you? Challenging. <laughs> yeah, I loved it actually, yeah. The, I presume that's the Alpine section what we've been in, is it? With the, all the hairpins and everything. Yeah, brilliant. It's, I didn't expect it, but yeah, it was great and getting onto the oval circuit as well. One heck of an experience, really enjoyed it. Graham, how you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, yeah. So you've just finished up on the XF manual. Yeah. How, how was it? Um, novel, I haven't driven a manual like the rest of the lads for six, seven years, so yeah, it was different. It was uh, a blast from the past getting back into a manual. Yeah, just uh, like riding a bike? No, <laughs> not at all. Um, obviously, I don't drive daft, so with the RX engine brake and things, it's totally different to what I'm used to. But it went all right, I think. I didn't hit anything, so happy days. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. You're Cheers. Welcome, thank you. Julian, we're a little way through day one now, so how have you found it so far? Uh, very challenging, actually. It's uh, the challenges outside of your normal day-to-day -day, uh, driving job. So it's something that is uh, taking you outside of your comfort zone. So it was Paul Barlow who more than managed to get to grips with the manual gearbox, taking first place in this challenge with a score of 58 out of 60, with some equally impressive drives amongst several of our drivers, giving them a share of the points. And with eight points from the first two challenges, Richard Baker steps into first place overall on the leaderboard. So the XF Challenge proved a demanding test for our drivers, for they had no problems navigating Challenge 3, however, load restraint, which saw an exemplary display from everyone when it came to the safe and correct securing of a number of loads. So it was high fives all round, with the majority of our drivers scoring a perfect 15 out of 15. However, there were some drop points for early contenders Peter Edwards and Gary Ferber, and time will tell how that affects their chances later in the competition. Three challenges down, five to go, all to play for. Join us back in part two where we will see the drivers have their knowledge and skill pushed to the limit with the off-road course and inner city course. <laughs>